Hello, let's talk about text in DrawExact. The most striking thing is that text thinks it's geometry in DrawExact. In other words, you interact with it just in, with, in geometric ways, the same as you would with lines and arcs. So you don't have to start thinking about things like how many pixels a text is or what font size it is, for example. Let me show you what I mean. Say I wanted to, this is our old familiar boat, Let's just measure roughly what height this space is. It's 203. So if I wanted to put some text in there, which was quite small in there, maybe 100 or maybe 75. Let's try 75. Let's just put some text up there for the moment and start ed editing it. At the moment, the height is 300. So if I make it 75, we're getting to the sort of um, size that I wanted in the same way as you would size lines. We need to work out what angle that is, and I think probably the easiest way for me to do that is if I draw a line in like that, temporarily, I can then measure the angle. I don't think I've told you about measuring angles before. I've told you about measuring the length, but you've got x, y, and angle components here. So you notice this one theta? If I go to there, it's telling me that that's minus 11.87. So let's try editing this to have an angle of minus 11.87. So we've now got the right size and the right angle. I'm going to get rid of that line now. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm going to get rid of that line now. And in a situation like this, you would probably position it for the, with copy and paste freehand from a reference point, maybe up here. And I can just pop that in there. That's the first thing I wanted to get across. The next thing I wanted to get across, I'm just going to switch tabs back to the original drawing. You'll notice that the, there's some Japanese text there and there's some symbols here. Let's tell you a bit about that. Let's um, edit this text one up here. I can carry on typing things in here, maybe on the next line. Hello. But let's look at the the symbol for umbrella. I've, um, I'm switching to a tab now where I just put into Google Unicode umbrella. Now what is Unicode you might ask? It's, a, it's an international character set. Every character in every language in the world is in the Unicode character set as are lots of symbols. So it means that you can annotate your drawings with whatever your language is and have access to some very useful and some quite amusing symbols. It means I can simply copy that there. This is nothing to do with draw exact. This is just copying the Unicode umbrella character. But when I go back to draw exact, after hello, I can put a space and just paste that in. There's my umbrella over here, you see. As a matter of fact, there's at the top of this mask, there's a flag, which I didn't draw. That's actually a Unicode character itself. And what about Japanese? Let's do some Japanese. Um, I'm going to edit the properties of that text again. And in another tab I'm just switching to, I, I typed into Google, hello in Japanese, konnichiwa. But here's the, the Unicode for it. Go back to my drawing. Oops, go back to my drawing. And on the next line, I could just copy and paste that in. The next thing I want to show you about text, I'll just put in some more text to illustrate properties. Let's make it a bit smaller for reasons that become clear. First line of text, another line of text, space, space, hello, space, space, good, bye. Now what I want you to notice is that R, O, H and G are absolutely perfectly lined up. And that's because this is a special font called a monospace font in which every single character and spaces are exactly the same width. And I've, put, I've used that font by design because it means that you can get indented text like this very easily. Space, 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 indented, more, etc. You, you can also have blank lines. Blank 
And this is, if I, if I deselect this and then select it again, you'll see that's all one paragraph, essentially. I think that's everything I wanted to say about text. Yes, it is. I hope that you find that useful. See you in the next video.